Good morning guys. So today I decided to start vlogging for you because I don't know, I'm just kind of in a vlogging mood. Today it's Friday, March 16th, so it's almost the last day of spring break and I'm so depressed. <laughs> I need like a whole nother month. But on the bright side, I pre-recorded so many YouTube videos. Holy moly, that's all I've been doing this entire week is recording, editing, posting, um, getting them like all set. So all I have to do during the week for like the next month is just press public so you guys can watch them. So I am super pumped about that because I mean that's like the most stressful thing. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I didn't really plan on going anywhere during my spring break either because your girl don't got money to go anywhere. So I just stuck to what I love to do and had a nice little break from school, but I mean, I only have two more days left of break and it's so depressing. So anyways, um, it is Friday, so I have a lot planned for today. It's currently 11 a.m., I woke up at 7.30 and I don't know why I can't just like be determined to start recording at like 8 a.m. I don't know why I can't do that. So I plan on starting to record at 8 a.m. this morning but it's 11 so I mean whatever. I did wake up at 7.30 just to drop Matt off at work because the whole parking situation for him during the week is annoying. So I was like a girlfriend and did that for him. And then I am picking him up later at like 5 so... I mean, he gave me his car for the whole day, but I don't even think I'm going to take his car today because my car has the stand for my phone so I can vlog, so, I mean, eh, pointless, but whatever. So, I'm going to knock out the Physician's Formula First Impression and Wear Test today, and I think I'm going to review eh, the Anastasia Amrezi, 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 I don't even know how to pronounce her name. I gotta look that up. Highlighter with the new Anastasia Powder Bronzer. So that's what I'm knocking out today. I might do one more video. I'm not sure because I'm vlogging. So this is another video on top of that. But I mean, your girl is just recording like crazy this week. I have so many videos already like edited, done, and ready for you guys. So I'm super pumped about that. So it's about time that we get this day started. I don't know why I just zoomed in. I pressed it two times instead of the stop, but here's a close-up of my ugly face. All right, guys, so I just finished recording. I recorded two videos, which is amazing. I love knocking out so many videos in one day. It's currently 12.15, so I asked my mom if she wanted to go and meet for lunch, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to drive to her work to pick her up now, and then we're gonna go get some lunch. I think we're gonna go to Wegmans which if you don't know what Wegmans is, um, it's like a huge grocery store, but it's like a really, 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 really nice grocery store and they have awesome food there. They have like subs, sushi, um, like pizzas, pasta dishes, chicken dishes, I don't know, they have a ton of dishes and they're so good. So I think that's where we're gonna go and they're really not that expensive either. And then after that, I have a few errands to run. I have a few things to return to Alta from my um, makeup haul that I just did not like at all. I'm gonna go and look for containers to put in my IKEA drawers for my makeup to organize them a little bit more. So yeah, that's what I'm pretty much doing. I don't really have anything else to buy because I know 21 Days of Beauty is coming up, so I have a few things that I want to buy throughout those weeks. So I'm trying to like save my money just to buy those things. I know one thing that I'm definitely buying is Smashbox Primer Water because it's literally like $15 or $16, which it's 50% off. So I'm gonna stock up on that. Right now it's 27 degrees and it's like a light flurry snow. It's not bad at all. So I just pulled up to my mom's work building. So I'm gonna go eat lunch with her. I might show you what I get. I think I'm gonna get a sub, something really basic. And then I'll bring you guys along. I might bring you into TJ Maxx, maybe. You never know. And then I'll show you what I get if I get anything. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just finished shopping and I actually just wanted to show you guys while I was in the car. 
because I spent the whole day shopping. I haven't done that in like I feel like years. So I went to Marshall's Home Goods, which is a dangerous place for me. <laughs> Very dangerous place. But I wanted to go, I wanted to check some things out, and then I wanted to find like organizers for my makeup in my drawers. So first, I'll show you what I got at Marshall's. They didn't really have any like organizers, makeup organizers, but I got this. This is the Vivitar Facial Power Brush. So it's kind of like a dupe Clarisonic, but this was extremely cheap. This was only $9.99. Of course, I looked up reviews online before I even purchased this because I was like, this might suck and I would be upset. And I just couldn't get over that design. Like, that is so cute. So, it's waterproof and it comes with two brush heads. I think one is exfoliating and one is just like a regular one. So, it's, um, it's supposed to clear out your pores, reduce pore size and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Exfoliates and cleanses the pores of leftover makeup. It takes two AAA batteries. So simple as that, I actually bought this for Matt's house because I was so sick of like transporting my Vanity Planet skin spa from my house to his house, from my house to his house. It was just so annoying and it's not leak proof so water would get all over my clothes. It was just not a fun time. And then I went into Ulta, returned some things and the only thing I purchased was this one heck of a blot instant perfecting power primer. I saw actually Casey Holmes raving about this, so I was like, if my girl loves it, I'm going to love it. But I am looking for new primers because mine are running out, and I don't really want to spend like $30, $40 on a primer right now. As you can tell, I'm a broke college student. This was only $14, so I was like, that's not bad, and I heard it's really good. I actually want to open it up. So it's pretty much supposed to mattify you and like fill in your pores, you know what I mean? Everything that I need in a primer. I wanna see the consistency of it. Oh, it's like a nude color, and then let's see. Oh, okay, it's like a gel, but like a thicker gel. It's not like a regular gel, and it kinda of feels sticky. So, wow, I'm excited to use this. I'll definitely be using this in a video. Coming up. Since I didn't find any storage drawers at Marshalls or obviously not Ulta, I went to the dollar store because I heard a lot of beauty YouTubers found great storage units at the dollar store and they're a dollar. So I was like, yes, sign me up. And I found some. So I found these. These weren't exactly what I was looking for, but um, they're pretty deep and I mean they're white so they're cute and the bottom you're not going to see because my makeup is literally going to fill all of these but I got six of these I was thinking of putting like my lipsticks organizing by like nudes rosy tones reds you know what I mean so I was thinking of organizing them like that and then I picked up these baskets I mean they're not the cutest let's be honest but who even sees my makeup collection me <laughs> So there's, these are like a pack of two little containers and I was thinking of putting my primers in one and then like my foundation, so like drugstore foundations and then high-end foundations and I got two sets so I have four and then I think I'm going to have one left over so I might even just throw some bronzers in here or something. I don't know. So I think I'm going to go inside, say hi to Sash and then figure out these makeup containers and then I'm going to leave to go get him. So I just want to show you guys um, the drawers now. This container I got at TJ Maxx and then also TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx and then this is what I just did. So they fit perfectly like they were literally meant to be. So I did nudes, more pinky tones, darker pinks, browns or darker um, tones, reds, and then glosses and a random MAC lipstick. So I put all my primers in this little container. I mean, there's still some room on the sides, but fits perfectly. And then my foundations, I don't know what to do with this. So I put all my foundations that I never use, and then I did drugstore, and then I did high end. But I don't know, I just have so many foundations, there's not enough room. Not enough room. So I don't know, I have to figure out something for this drawer, because it's really bothering me. 
And then concealers, this is from TJ Maxx. And then I put my setting powders all in this little thing. This drawer is so empty. It's so funny, but they all fit. I mean, whatever. And then what's below this? Oh, bronzers. This is a mess. I need to figure that out. And then highlighters. So I think I'm going to get another one of these containers. I love how they're all separated. I actually got that container for Christmas from my mom. And I believe she got it off of Amazon. So I'm going to see how much that is. So I can put like this highlighter, this, 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 this. You know what I mean? Like all these single ones. Because I really like how they're separated right here. Because I'm a highlighter fanatic. So yeah, it is officially 5 o'clock. So I need to go pick up Matt. My makeup is getting a little greasy. But um... So yeah, that's so far. I mean, that's all I pretty much bought and that's all I'm doing with my day. Let's go pick up my boo thing.